Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, and today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to effectively make use of same type attack bonus, or stab, in Pokemon battles or in Pokemon in general. This video will be in two parts, and we're going to kick it off with the first part right now, which is, what is stab? So for those of you who have heard the term stab tossed around, or have never really even been exposed to this term to begin with, and have always wondered what it was, Stab, as I said before, basically refers to what is known as same type attack bonus. And what this translates to in Pokemon battles is that whenever you have a Pokemon of any type and it uses a move of one of the types that it is, the attack will actually have a power increase because you are using the same type of move that you are. And for example, you know, a rock type Pokemon with or using a rock type move will be doing more damage than another Pokemon that isn't a rock type but using the same rock move just because of stab which is really cool and it's something that you basically need to know about if you're ever going to try and do competitive battles because you will always want to be making use of your stab moves whenever possible. Um, the stab increase into power is actually a 50% increase so if you take a move like Earthquake for example and multiply that by 1.5, you will actually have a 150 base power Earthquake if you are a ground type Pokemon using it, which is really cool and obviously translates to greater damage in any Pokemon battle. Um, it is important to note that Pokemon with multiple typings do have access to multiple stabs, which is really cool because that allows you know these multi-typed Pokemon to yield greater damage overall by using moves of both of those types and it is also essential for this to allow you to maximize the damage output that you are doing against your opponents in battles. And so for this, um, I have an example of how this will actually translate overall in damage by using two Pokemon of the same special attack, which is Mismagius and Manectric, and running the same damage calculation with them, but showing you how there is actually a big difference in damage output because of lack of or because of stab. So let's get to that calculation right now. So in our first test that we're going to be running for this video, we're going to be making use of a Miss Magius, which as you can see has a base special attack of 105, which is pretty good. Now with a max special attack, meaning max EVs for special attack or 252 special attack EVs, and a plus special attack nature, which is basically a modest nature or anything that will increase special attack, this Magius will have a total special attack of 339 at level 100. And you can find this information pretty much anywhere if you look it up online. But for this um, test that we're going to be running, we're actually going to be using a super effective Thunderbolt against a Waylord. And this Waylord will be having max special defense and also max HP, to give it the max special defense that I can possibly have in any given situation. Now Thunderbolt is a 95 base power move and it is super effective against Waylord obviously because Electric is super effective against Water. So despite this though however, this Thunderbolt from a max special attack Miss Magius will only be doing 41.2% or between or between 41.2% and 48.5% damage to this Waylord, which means that it will actually be a three hit KO. Now this is good because you know you're able to hurt this Waylord a lot in the three turns that you have, however Miss Magius does suffer from bad physical defense and can therefore be hurt a lot by a Waylord that is maybe packing Waterfall or something like that to really harm the Miss Magius because it does have some pretty okay physical attack to begin with. But as you can see though, you know, because Miss Magius is only a ghost type, it really isn't allowing Thunderbolt to be used to its full potential because of stab. On the other hand, we have a Manectric who has the same base special attack as Vismagius, which is 105, and will also have the same total special attack as Vismagius, running max special attack EVs, a plus special attack nature, and being at level 100, which again is a total special attack of 339. So basically, these two Pokemon are identical in terms of their power from the special side. However, despite this, 
being the case, their damage calculations by using a Thunderbolt against the same Wailord are significantly different, and you can see on the screen as I provided it for you. Basically, Thunderbolt from Electric will be doing 61.8% um, to 60, sorry, 72.8% damage against the same Whale Lord, and the reasoning for this is because using an electric move, Manectric actually gets stab on it because it is an electric type. So it takes this 95 base power Thunderbolt and actually turns it into a 142.5 base power Thunderbolt because of stab's 50% increase on the attack. Now, I do believe the game does round up, so it, I think it would end up being 143, but regardless, using you know accurate math, it will be 142.5 base power. So basically, because of stab, you are actually able to be doing 50% more damage against this Whale Lord, and then being able to two-hit KO it, which Miss Magius was not able to do in the previous situation because it lacked stab on the electric type attack, despite it being super effective against this Whale Lord. As for part 2 of this video, I will be discussing how to use stab correctly in battle. And basically, it starts off with trying to dispel a common misconception that a lot of people often think in Pokemon, and that is that super effective damage will always equal more powerful attacks. And I'm going to just say this right now, and that is often not the case, because if your Pokemon has a very powerful stab attack, it is often going to be, um, because of the stab increase, more powerful than a super effective hit will be. And I will explain this in further detail as we go on with this section. Also, it is often a common misconception, again, that even if your stab is not very effective, um, it will be less powerful than a move that is neutral. And again, this is also not always the case. And for this example, I'm actually going to be using a Gliscor that I basically decided was going to have the move Swords Dance, Earthquake, Ice Fang, and Roost just for the test purposes. Now, if you are unaware, um, Gliscor has a base physical attack of 95, which translates to a total sp uh, physical attack of 317 at level 100 with max physical attack EVs, 252 EVs to physical attack, and then a plus physical attack nature. So this first damage calculation that I'm going to be showing you guys is going to be up against a max HP and max physical defense bulky Venusaur. Now, because this Gliscor has only two attacking moves, which is that of Earthquake and Ice Fang, most people will automatically think of going for Ice Fang because it is super effective against the Grass Poison type Venusaur. So in this situation, basically this calculation shows that an Ice Fang, which is 65 base power, will be, doing, will be doing between 28% and 33.5% to this max HP and max physical defense bulky Venusaur. At the same time, however, an Earthquake, which has 100 base power, will be doing between 32.4% and 37.9% damage to the same Venusaur and using the same Gliscor with max physical attack. And now it is important to note that in this situation Earthquake is not a super effective move whereas Ice Fang is. And despite that Earthquake as you can see still did more damage despite Ice Fang being super effective. And the reasoning for this is because Ice Fang when it is super effective, it multiplies its base power times 2. So 65 times 2 will equal 130 base power. As for Earthquake, it not being super effective, but it being a stab attack on Gliscor, you will multiply the 100 base power of Earthquake um, times 1.5 or increase it by 50%, making it um, a total of 150 base power which is 20% or 20 points more than Ice Fang was despite Ice Fang being super effective. And this is something I see people commonly do a lot online and is something that I would like to, you know, eliminate people from doing because they're losing out on a bunch of damage that they could do in situations like these. As for our next and last damage calculation, we are going to be using the same max attack Gliscor but instead we're going to be going up against a max HP and max physical defense bulky Krikatoon. 
Now in this situation, because our Gliscor only has two attacking moves, being Ice Fang and Earthquake, most people would normally go with Ice Fang because it does neutral damage to this Krikatoon, whereas Krikatoon, being a bug type, would resist the Earthquake. So as you can see from these damage calculations, this 65 base power Ice Fang will be doing between 19% and 22.3% damage to a max HP and max physical defense bulky Krikatoon. On the other hand, Earthquake, which will be a not very effective attack because of Krikatoon's bug typing, it will be doing between 21.5% and 25.4% damage to the same Krikatoon. And now the reasoning for this is because despite Earthquake being a not very effective hit, when Stab and everything is factored in, it will still have a greater base power than this Ice Fang, because a neutral Ice Fang will stay at 65 base power, whereas this Earthquake will be 100 base power times 1.5 for Stab, making it 150 base power, and then dividing it by 2 because of not very effective, meaning that it will have a 75 base power, or it will be a 75 base power attack, which is 10 power more than this neutral Ice Fang. And this is just one situation, again, where using your stab attacks will do greater damage than a neutral hit. Now, normally Gliscors do run Stone Edge over Ice Fang, but obviously, you know, we're using this just for test purposes. But that is pretty much it for this video, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial into um, using stab and how to use it effectively in battle, because I see a lot of people, as I said before, you know, think that because their attacks will, not, will be not very effective, or because their non-stab attacks will be super effective, um, that they will use those over their stab attacks, which in reality will be doing more damage because of how it works. But yep, that's it for this video guys, so I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry that it's pretty long, but that's kind of how it had to be for this video's purpose. So take care as always, and goodbye.